Okay, so now we're going to talk about reinforcement zones, and this is really important. <laughs> Captain agrees. He loves this topic. Um, this is really important for if we're doing loose leash walking, and I'm going to explain why. Saddle. It's really important if we're doing reinforcement zone. Uh, reinforcement zones are important if we're doing loose leash walking, which I'll explain in a minute. Or things like side sit, or get behind me, or any of our tricks that we're working on. So, no, I'm not going to be hula hooping. But if I ask, if you were to ask your dog to sit, they are likely to go here. Captain, sit. So he's trying to get into my front and get my attention. This is called the primary reinforcement zone. How about stay? Um, so the primary reinforcement zone tends to be about this size right in front of you. So everything we've done with our dogs so far, cap touch, when you're teaching your dog to sit, down, touch, touch, even go to bed, everything is this hula hoop moving from your front. So what we want our dogs to do if we're doing something like loose leash walking or heel they're not in our front, they're here. So we need to build up another reinforcement zone that comes with us when we're walking. So this way we can, we can still get sit, and sit means sit here, but sit also means sit here. And attention means attention here. It doesn't just mean it in front of me. So when we're working on these reinforcement zones, and if I want sit to mean sit over there, I'm gonna demonstrate something. Cap touch, wait. Go to bed, sit, or close enough. <laughs> Cap, sit, yes. So I'm a lot further. My reinforcement zone is big. My primary reinforcement zone in front of me is really big, down. Um, so I want you guys to keep in mind that the reinforcement zones, they start off really small and you can make them bigger. So sit doesn't just mean sit here, it means sit over there or over here. But now we're also going to see if we can get our dogs to sit over here too. So what I want you to do is imagine two hula hoops next to you. And so just this basic exercise for reinforcement zones, touch, sit. You don't have to use real hula hoops. In fact, some dogs are a little spooked by them, especially if they're the rattly kinds that I'm using here. Um, but Captain's been doing this a lot. So I'm going to use my left hand to move them to my left side. This might be weird for your dogs because now we're asking them to sit here instead of sitting here. And these two hands look different. Um, we move, if we're righty, signaling with our right versus signaling with our left, we might move slightly differently and the dog might be a little weird about it. So. You might need to lure your dog behind you, step them up into that invisible hoop, and sit. Yes. So I might need to lure for a while, and that's okay. If I ask a dog, Kevin, sit, and they understand it, he's not going to move. Your dog, if they're sitting next to you and you say, sit, they are likely to run in front of you and sit, and they are not wrong. They are correct. Because as far as they understand, sit means run in front and sit. Touch, sit. So I can practice moving my dog to the front in a sit. Touch, sit. Yes. I'm going to start treating with my left because as we're doing loose leash walking, especially at every dog and at most of the places I train, the dogs need to be on the left either for their AKC Canine Good Citizen Pass and New England Dog Training Club. It's a competition obedience club. Most people come in with an understanding, my dog needs to walk on the left. There's really no reason they don't have to walk on your left. In fact, I would also encourage you to build up a reinforcement zone on your right. Captain, sit. Good job. So now he's to my right and he's behind me. So my reinforcement zone is pretty big. So see if you can this week, touch. Using touch and sit. See if you can practice. If your dog is on your left, sitting and treating on your left. If your dog is on your right, you're using your right hand to sit and treat with your right hand. And then every now and again, cap. Yes. And see.
see if you can get them with both hands to sit in front of you so they can see right versus left and really start to parse those out. Um, hop up. Wait. So when we get to loose leash walking, our primary reinforcement zone, we're gonna move to here. When we do loose leash walking, we actually start with our primary reinforcement zone here and get them to sit automatically in front of us while we move. So we're adding distractions first, turning down the volume on difficulty, duration, and distance. They're here where they're comfortable, and then we swing them out to move forward with them. And you'll see that in the loose leash walking video that we're going to be putting in that video, I'm actually teaching at New England Dog Training Club. We're sharing some of their videos. Um, so if it looks different or if it's explained in a step one or step two manner, don't be confused. Um, if there is confusion, send me a note and I'll help you out. <laughs>